All the way from LA, it is Warpaint. Ladies, hi. 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 I'm going to try and remember your names and get it right. OK, we've got Stella. Yeah. Drums. That's right. Jenny, bass. Emily, vocals and guitar. And T-Bum. <laughs> that right? Did you say T-Bum? T-Bone. T-Bone. I don't think I introduced myself as T-Bone. Your tour manager did. <laughs> <laughs> T-Bone on guitar. Uh, for your very welcome to our show and you're welcome to Ireland. Is it your first time? Yes. yes. Yeah? Very excited. It's lovely. First time as a band or first time? Because I read a couple of you guys have travelled around Europe previously. Never here, though. I don't sure. think any of us have done here. No? It's exciting. Mm -hmm. Very excited to be here. Virgins. Mm. <laughs> Irish virgins. Yeah. There's not a lot of them around. Look at that. For anyone who doesn't know the band, can we have a little bit of a background on you guys, please? You're what, six, seven, eight years together, is that right? Yeah, on and off. Six Since tops. 2004. Okay. Yeah. We, we formed the band, the three of us, with my sister, mm -hmm. Shannon. Mm -hmm. Kind of summing up, make a long story short. We basically, for the last six years, we've played on and off. We've taken some breaks and we've had some lineup transitions. Mm -hmm. And then she joined the band. Hi. You're the newbie. You're from Australia, is that right? I am, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. so they carted me over. How did you end up um, hooking up with these guys? Um, through mutual friends mm -hmm. and acquaintances. We played a show together. We did play mm -hmm. a show together. And then um, I guess there was a moment when they didn't have a drummer. And they mm -hmm. called me up and said, do you want to do the album with us? <laughs> Basically, we had three weeks to flush out all our songs with her, but she jumped mm. right in and it was like our chemistry, our musical chemistry worked really well together. It didn't really take away from anything, I don't think, like that process at all. It, it seemed really natural. And tell us about the new album, it's just out. Mm -hmm. That's the reason you're here in Ireland mm -hmm. and touring Europe and all that yeah. good stuff. It's called The Fool? The Fool, yeah. It's, um, it's, I don't know, it's like a, every song is new and feels new because we've all given it life in the, you know, in the last year and stuff. But um, some of the songs were written a long time ago, like, or began at the beginning of our band. Mm -hmm. So it's really special <laughs> for us because there's some songs that we've been dying to actually record and put out. And, um give life to and so it's exciting. And can I ask you about the, the deal with Rough Trade? How, how did that come about? Because the, the, the album has come out in Rough Trade first, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Over in the UK or UK and Ireland or whatever. Um, oh yeah. So how did that come about? They, it started actually on MySpace. They asked us to send them our EP and then um, we never heard back from them. <laughs> and then uh, we played in Portland, and there's an A&R guy, Scott, who lives up there, and he mm -hmm. came to our show. We were about to sign a deal with a different label, and so it got rushed really fast, and they um, basically, before Jeff, the head of Rough Trade, had seen us, mm -hmm. they just fashioned us a, a little deal, basically, um, just so that we wouldn't sign with someone else. Wow. And then when we went to CMJ, he came out, and we met everyone, and they saw us play, and. Happy they said the deal. They basically were like, "We'll give you a record deal. Hopefully, you'll find a drummer someday." The funny part about it is, they in our first meeting with them, we were, we had just gone on tour with a, a just a, hi a friend, mm -hmm. and we hired him to play with us. And but we were like, you know, we need to find our drummer. And we were thinking of her. And the first thing that they, the first criti critique they had about us in the in our meeting was, we'd really like you to get a different drummer. And we're like, we're on it. <laughs> Did they want you to get a girl drummer? No, no, no. 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 They're so, they just they're wanted so us hands. to be settled. They wanted us. Yeah. They knew that we were kind of uncertain of where, what we were doing with the drummer, and so they were yeah, like, Yeah, exactly. We need you to settle, obviously, if we're going to give you this record deal. We need to know that you have a drummer lined up. And what happens after this? After the tour, you go back home then? We've got a pretty light schedule until we go to Australia in, in January. January. And then we'll do a US tour, and then we'll do summer festivals. So you're going to be touring all the way, all, all through 2011. Yeah. Thanks a million guys for coming in and having a little chat with us on Under Ether. Thank yeah, you for having, having us. You're going to play a song for us later, later on. What's it going to be? 
Undertow. Undertow. Which is the current single. Mm -hmm. That's off the album. Number two, is it? It's track number three. two. Three on the album. Three. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, three. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks.